Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Power BI Dex for beginner series. In this episode, I am going to talk about average function in the Dex. Average has three variations. One is average, average A and average X. So let's get started and talk about difference between each of the variation for average function. One more important announcement. If you haven't followed me on Instagram so far, do follow me on Instagram using ID Power Platform Guy. Also, the practice file for this episode is available to my GitHub repository. You can download it and practice over there. So, without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about average function in detail with me. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened Power BI desktop with the preloaded data set. Here I have sales information where I have product and supplier information along with its unit price and quantity. Now let's get started and explore different average variation. So average function is basically is used to calculate the average of a given column. Now let's explore that with the help of example. Here I have quantity column. And now I wanted to find out the average of quantity by supplier. So here I have added supplier column, unit price and quantity. And now I need average quantity by each supplier. So let's see how we can calculate that. The measure that I am going to use here is average measure. And inside that you need to provide the column name. So I am providing the column name as quantity. And now let's see what we are getting as an outcome. I have added that column over here inside the table and now here you can see that for alpha supplier the average is 13.5. Now how does it calculate the average? Let's see. So here in the alpha supplier you can see that one value is blank. So average function automatically eliminate the blank row. Now here I have only two value as a quantity 25 plus 2 that is 27. And it is dividing that by 2. So what I am getting as an end outcome is 13.5. So average function automatically removes blank or null value. So remember one thing. Right? Now let's talk about second average variation which is average A. Average A function is something which is used very less into real life examples. Now let me talk about the difference between average and average A. Average A has only one minor difference it do exact same work as an average function. But what's the difference? Let me talk about that. That is something which I will not able to replicate into Power BI because that is something which is handled by Power Query automatically. Now let's say for an example, here you have quantity column and in quantity, let's say in some of the value by mistakenly taken as text column. And now I wanted to calculate the average for entire quantity column then average A function automatically ignore this row and it will give you appropriate result similar like average function. Right? So this is the main difference. Now here let me create that column average A and inside that you need to provide the column name that is quantity. Now here I haven't loaded the data with the test but just imagine in case you have test over there then what happen here is that column will be ignored and the average will be counted and average function will automatically exclude that value. It will consider that as a null. And I am saying that why this scenario not happen into real life example. The reason is that power query is enough to understand the text data from the numeric column and it is automatically marked as error inside the power query itself. So you can exclude that value inside the power query itself. So you never need to use this function. So that's my observation. Right now, let's move towards the third average variation, which is average X. Let's consider one real life example where you need to find out the total sales, which is something multiplication of unit price and quantity. So in this case, what you will do as a regular person, you are going to create one calculated column, which will calculate unit price into quantity. And then you will use that column in order to find out the average of total sales. But Average X function is an iterator function which allow you to add expression 
inside that function and first of all it will calculate unit price into quantity row wise and store it to temporary storage and find out the overall average on top of that so let's see how so here i am just adding a function average x and inside that you need to provide first expression as table so i am just providing my first expression sheet 1 and then i need to provide expression so my expression is quantity into unit price right and now let's hit enter so first of all it will execute in the form of row context and then it will perform the average on that temporary created column so let's hit enter and let me just add to the table to see the end outcome and here we are we are getting the average price over here now let me tell you one more important thing over here and one more use case of average x in average x basically you are providing the table structure as an input now over here you can also add some condition like let's say if you wanted to find out the average which has quantity greater than 10 so you can provide filter and inside that your table name and then you can provide quantity greater than 10 so basically it will only calculate the average for the product which has greater than 10 quantity so this is how you can utilize average x function into real life use cases now let's summarize everything average function is calculating average for a given column by ignoring blank and null value average a function is something which is ignoring blank null or any other data types row value from your data and calculating the average average x function is something which allow you to provide table as a parameter as well as you can add the expression so in those cases average x function is useful to you hope this video helps you and values your time if you have any questions so far feel free to add your question in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are looking for hindi content subscribe my another channel digital dhruvin and if you are looking for training or consultancy here are all the links over here so just click on my website and send it to me and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and podcast platform. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.